Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is how to spot record, professionally known as punching in and punching out, in BandLab. Tap on the settings icon at the top of the screen, and tap on the snap to grid toggle to turn off snap. Then tap on count in, and tap on off on the pop-up menu. Now tap on the wave icon. Drag your finger across the screen to move the white vertical track position marker line to the beginning of the section of audio you want to re-record. Double tap on the ruler to turn on loop play. Press your finger at the beginning of the highlighted loop section on the ruler and drag your finger so the beginning of the highlighted loop section is on the white vertical track position marker line. Now drag your finger across the screen to move the white vertical track position marker line to the end of the section of audio you want to re-record. Then press your finger on the end of the highlighted loop section on the ruler and drag your finger so the end of the highlighted loop section is on the white vertical track position marker line. Now tap on the record icon, re-record your audio, and then tap on the stop record icon. Each time the recording reaches the end of the looped section, it will re-record the loop section again. So you can keep re-recording until you are happy with your recording. This is the bird punching. This is the third punching. Now tap on the highlighted loop section on the ruler to unhighlight it and turn off loop play. Here comes the punching. Here comes the punching. This is the third punching. If you re-recorded several times, you can tap on the undo icon to hear the other re-records. Here comes the punching. This is the second punching. Here comes the punching. This is the third punching. Tap the redo icon to return to the last re-record or choose one of the other re-recordings. Here comes the punching. This is the third punching. If you want a count in when you re-record, be aware that the count in always starts and ends in a single bar. So the beginning of your re-record loop will have to start at the beginning of a bar. The beginning of a bar is marked on the ruler by the taller vertical line to the left of the bar number. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.